Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 888. My name is Tanya. All right, we're doing another reading on this Labor Day weekend, baby. This is a double header. Just a, little, a couple of fast ones, a couple of fast readings for you. All right, let's call in spirit. Let's get this party started, shall we? Spirit guides and angels of your whitest light. Please give me a clear message for the collective. One that gives, brings healing and hope. Please protect my energy as I channel these messages. Please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so I'm going to do Monology Manifestation. I'm going to do a couple of cards. It's not going to be long ones. We're going to do short readings. Uh, so I can get going on my camping trip. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. Please like and subscribe. Please like on the way in. It gives me an energetic donation. These are timeless readings, so whenever you press play, I believe Spirit was motivating you to do so. And I so appreciate those that have. Thank you so much. It helps my channel grow, but it also helps me as well to tune into your energy. Thank you so much for that. All right, let's do Moonology Manifestation. These are collective readings, any energy, any sign. Energy does not have a gender, but I do say he or she. So please excuse and forgives. It is not intentional to insult anybody. All right, and if you don't agree with this reading for whatever reason, check your placements. You have more than one astrological sign, and it could be somebody else's reading. It's about the size of it, baby. All right, so let's read. Spirit, give me a card, please, to start the overall energy, the moonology, please. Thank you. Please, Spirit, please. It wants to come out. I know that. Hang on. Maybe it doesn't. Somebody's holding back. <laughs> All right. Take the first card. Last quarter moon in Pisces. Talk less and feel more. Hmm. And that's the last quarter moon in Pisces, babe. All right. Let's read what that means. What is this? The danger in our current situation is that you're going to be really good at starting things and less good at finishing them. This card suggests that you need to talk less and feel more. So rather than telling people what you want now, feel your feelings about what you want. What comes up? Do you believe in yourself or not? Perhaps you started strong but are running out of steam. If so, go within and ask yourself how committed you are to your goals. Remember that it's okay to change your mind. So maybe you have changed your mind. Maybe you're thinking in your head, but you're not making any action. Or maybe you're talking a good game, but you're not doing anything to prove it. So it's sort of like the show me state. Prove it, baby. What do you want? You want me or not? Show it. Show up and show out, baby. My dog's going to whine. She is like that. She's in the room right now because she just can't stop barking, you know? When she goes to the campground, she acts up. So if you hear whining, excuse and forgives, this is how she is. My little Coco is a little stress dog. She's a stress dog. Those Labradoodles, they're like that. If anybody has a Labradoodle, the poodle part of her is like a little prey gray. All right, Spirit, give me some uh, information, please, on this connection, please. Yes, you don't have to adjust the volume. This is the dog whining. She is like that. Six of Earth. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Gifts of money, time, or effort. New career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. This is money. Earth is grounding. But it also can be something that you want to give money, time, and effort to that you didn't before. Tell me more about the spirit. The High Priestess. Listening to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want. And that's basically it. Maybe you're changing your mind on what you wanted. Maybe you wanted something before, but now you're changing your mind and you want something else. Maybe you're learning about you're giving to people and you're not receiving in kind. Now you want to give to another situation. And you're using your intuition with the high priestess here. Thank you, Spirit. Four of water. Water is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You missed, you missed an opportunity, you know? And now you're bored with your life, but it says to open your eyes to possibilities of something else. And maybe you just got stuck and didn't think you could change the situation. Three of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, abundance. Things are looking very good. Have patience. So patience is here more than once. Make long-term plans. 
So you want to go towards something different. And it's it's looking good here. Two of fire, you've come into your own new partnerships or contracts, continue to move forward, right? Despite the challenges that you've had, despite the uh, adversities that it's saying, keep going forward, keep blowing up, baby. Because things are looking good. And maybe before they didn't, but now the scales are balanced here. You see that on the six of earth and things are looking good. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hang on here. Hang on. Eight of air is Gemini, Libra, and Sagittarius. An illusion of being trapped. Lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So you've been afraid to take action. Even though it is abundant, you might have had to pay some karmic contracts or karmic lessons had to happen in order for you to feel like you could change this situation definitely using your intuition where you didn't before but you're in your emotions about a connection maybe you felt a sense of lack and that's why you didn't move towards your person but two of earth is here too much giving too much going on at once the need to make a decision yeah so maybe uh you've had more than one option and now it's saying you gotta make a choice you gotta make a choice of what you want Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity. Change your life. Yeah, you have the opportunity, kid, to change your life. Six of Air, things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation. Maybe even traveling. Excellent. So this is, this is a very positive outcome, a very positive reading so far. But there's been challenges to this connection. There's been challenges in your life because... Frankly, you made the wrong choice in a connection, it seems. And now Spirit's saying that the Wheel of Fortune could be moving in the direction. It doesn't have Wheel of Fortune here, but it has the Two of Earth, right? Too much going on at once. Emotions here. Two, a Six of Earth. So there's been challenges here. Definitely. Threes, twos, but yeah, fives. These are like challenges. But there's a connection here that you want to make, have a new beginning with. Definitely. And now Spirit's giving the green light for it right here. Three of Wands here. You've been holding on to the past and you had a lot of doubt and that's what's delayed this connection. But you have unhappiness where you're at in misery. You're not happy and that's Nine of Cups. That's for sure. So you're not happy with the person that you're with, but you have the High Priestess here yet again. Second confirmation. And I know this is old cards, whatever. Deal, my friends. Sometimes things that don't look so pretty on the outside are beautiful on the inside. And this is a beautiful card. Not the kids are here. And they always make a noise. All right. So High Priestess, double confirmation of that. And what I was saying is just because something looks like this on the outside does not mean it's not beautiful on the inside. This is a beautiful card. And it is what it is, okay? But this is the High Priestess twice. Confirmation of that. We have Knight of Wands. You want to be adventurous. You want to be action-oriented. You want to come in charming and take a risk with this person all right so let's go into who you could be or who your person could be because they're trying to get to you they have had issues in the past maybe financial issues and also definitely with connections because it's emotions here they made the wrong choice and now they want to choose you so let's get the alchemies of who this person could be and then we'll go on to a little bit more in depth and then we'll end it for today end this reading and go on to another one perhaps but let me just finish this up let's go into the alchemies of who this person could be spirit can you give me a couple more cards please thank you all right so this person has addictions and this could be self-sabotaging addiction this could be drugs this could be sex right here this could be obsessions okay this could be bad habits take it how it resonates this person is a visionary though they think outside the box Thank you, Spirit. We've got a lot to say. And this is why I said this. Numbness. Yes. They've been living numb. Just bloody, just getting by. Not really, you know, moving. Just staying stuck. And just like living day to day. But not being happy at all. They might be a CEO or business person. Right here. What does this say? They're a communicator. Maybe they do that for a living. Thank you, Spirit. This is a past life connection. Yeah, so you've known this person in a past life, mystic. You could be a mystic, they could look at you as psychic, or they could be psychic. Or you both could be, take it how it resonates. Wallflower, maybe they look at you as innocent. What is this, femme fatale, but you have this femme fatale or they do, take it how it resonates. 
Aquarius, you could be Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. They could have Aquarius in their chart. And what does it say here? Caregiver. They look at you as loving and kind or they could be as well. This could be you or your person. Take the roles and see, you know, whatever. Flip the roles as you see fit, my friends. Don Juan, and this is how they were in the past. Hit it and quit it. Going into different connections and they sabotage. Saboteur. Yeah, they sabotage this connection based on that. They weren't truthful to you they weren't honest with you and you had to the end that you had to walk away from this person or the connection just ended maybe they ghosted you maybe they breadcrumbed you maybe they loved bombed you and then all of a sudden they were gone because they chose somebody else but it was all to their heartbreak they didn't get a better situation they felt trapped for a long time they didn't use their intuition when they picked this person and it got them into six of earth it got to you know financial lack it got them into emotional numbness where they just live day by day working but not ha being happy not being fulfilled because their fulfillment was with you and once they got their high the, you know use their intuition now they want to move forward this is what happens unfortunately you think something looks good on the outside but really it isn't and something like this card and I think this is what it is something that doesn't look so wonderful on the outside maybe a little bit you know rough around the edges they overlooked but there was such a beauty inward but they just looked on the outside and that could have been your situation where they looked on the outside and they found you lacking and I don't mean to say it in a negative way please forgive me sometimes you don't want to be the bearer of bad news and you don't want to bring bad news to people and say such things but it's like I think in that this situation they were looking for something outwardly beautiful like this pre high priestess how pretty but on the but look at the health the outside of it they couldn't see the worth on the inside they couldn't see your worth and I think it took the time the separation the toll of their lack of resources, their lack of happiness to see th that you were worth it all along, that you are so beautiful. You're beautiful, regardless of what your outward shell might be. You're seeing that now. They want to take you on a date. Spirit, come through. Maybe they were Don Juan going out with these, look at sexy girls, sexy boys, take it how it resonates. And then they realize that books are only skin deep and there's much more meaning to a person's heart and how they treat you than what they look like on the outside because that's all you get sometimes abundance they realize they're, they're manifesting blessings they're manifesting a different mindset they want to have abundance and they recognize that you were their abundance a few more cards spirit please so can wrap it up wrap it up spirit separation yeah they're missing you they didn't see your worth but now they do now they do it took it took being apart from you sometimes that happens engagement ring they could be engaged they could have a union or a partnership or they want that with you in the future seduction yeah yeah hooking up third parties temptations it was all there baby it was all there because look shows here Don Juan baby yeah they didn't use their intelligence when it came to that it was all about the experience all about the feelings the fun the newness sunglasses yeah now they're watching you stalking you they haven't let you go because they love you they love you but they needed stability they needed to learn their karmic lessons is what spirit's saying to me the clock yeah they feel like they needed time or they feel like now is the time to come towards you take it how it resonates but not today because you set up strong boundaries against this person and you need it to, but there's a mirroring that's happening, how you feel, they feel. If you're negative about it, they're gonna be negative about it. If you're positive about this situation, and you might be the catalyst to this person's change by you changing yourself, by you moving forward in your life, by you sticking, staying positive, they're getting off their knees and they're, they're following too as well. They, they wanna be positive as well. Says the dragonfly, finding out, no. Yeah, finding out and changing. So they're looking at it from a different perspective. They learned about you, right? They took the time out 
to learn about you and now they're realizing you're everything they ever wanted and they're watching you reminiscing any pictures you have they got them on their phone they got them on their computer they what they're looking at them if you post on social media their screenshot and that bugger they got it on there as if they took it themselves yeah baby yeah baby Clarity and truth, revelations, baby, but they're determined to come towards you. Yeah, they are. Death. Death is an ending and new beginning. Whatever this nonsense is, this third parties, this hit it and quit it's done. Because the phoenix, baby, is rising. The phoenix is rising from the ashes and this connection is coming together. But you might have felt backstabbed. And they feel backstabbed because they had to learn about these karmics that they weren't truthful to them. They weren't the one, okay? And they had to find out through being backstabbed that you were the one all along. They didn't see that, but they do now. They do now. I guess the saying's true, better late than never. But you have to be positive about this. If nothing else, forgiveness is necessary. Forgiveness to move forward. Not just for this person, but this person needs to forgive themselves. I think they live in a lot of regret about the situation that they didn't see your worth and that they took all this time apart from you where they could have been with you. And I think they're kicking themselves about this, but realize that this is divine protection, right? And this is divine guidance. And God is sending this person through the mill in a sense because they needed to learn their lessons and they needed to recognize not only that boundaries for themselves because they were just doing whatever you know let's do it you know let's party man let's have some fun not realizing the consequences of it stds unwanted pregnancies whatever the case may be you know being with you know trapping themselves in situations that uh they normally wouldn't be under because they were toxic and they had bad habits and now they're learning about you by watching you, by separating from you. You were the one that was their abundance all along. All right. So this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me on Empress Aries 888. Please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I'd love to have you. Until the next time. Happy weekend, everybody. Be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.